We're here today to talk about parasites. Could you start off by telling us what a parasite is? Well, a parasite is a, a eukaryotic organism that lives in our body. And by that, I mean it is, has cells that are more like our own and not as different as, say, a bacterium or a virus. So it's a larger organism that lives often for quite a long time in our bodies. And where in the world do you find parasites? Well, they're everywhere. They're more abundant in tropical countries and they're very prominent among causing parasitic diseases in humans such as malaria, schistosomiasis and, and um, filariasis. Is there a role of um, domesticated animals in transmitting parasites to humans? Yes, it's not the major cause of parasitic diseases, but there's some very specific examples. Um, in this country, there's a parasite called Toxocara canis, which is spread from dogs and also foxes. So not only domesticated animals, but wildlife as well. Um, fortunately, it's not too common in this country, but in many other parts of the world, it, it, it's a serious problem. So how is it that parasites um, are able to infect a human host and do they have to make any adaptations to survive sort of within the environment of a human host? Oh, very much so. So this is why uh, scientists such as myself find parasites so fascinating. Each and every one of them has their own secret recipe for entering the body and finding a refuge somewhere. So uh, many hide inside cells, for example, the malaria parasite living inside red blood cells. Um, others find specialised tissues where they've somehow adapted and can uh, remain either uh, undetected or have ways of switching off the immune system in that particular tissue. And what does the host's immune system do um, to try and rid themselves of these parasites? Well, another interesting uh, aspect here is that um, people seem to be very different in how they handle Parasites. So some people are able to eliminate them quite uh, quickly and others, um, you know, their immune system make, makes the wrong call and the, the body reacts quite uh, vigorously but in the wrong way, causing a lot of inflammation, a lot of tissue damage and some of the more um, famous examples of parasitic diseases are when the immune system actually goes wrong and can't handle the parasite very well. And what types of parasites do humans get infected with? Well, um, the two main ones would be protozoa, so single-celled organisms, and I've mentioned malaria. Another example would be sleeping sickness, um, a little a protozoa that is free-living in the bloodstream. And the other type are what we'd call worms or helminths. So these are multicellular little animals that manage to enter the body one way or another. And um, like I was saying before, they find a niche, they find a, a home from home and they can uh, stay for a long time in our bodies. Are there treatments for parasitic infections in humans? Yes, um, they vary a lot in efficacy and also some of the good drugs against some parasites um, are becoming less and less effective and we know this also with you know, uh, antibiotics against bacteria. Same story that the parasites evolving quickly and can um, survive more and more of the treatments that we have and so um, there's an urgency to, to conduct the research, to, to find more ways of um, treating, preventing and curing those diseases. And should we be worried about encountering parasites in our everyday lives? In this country, in our everyday life, I don't think it's a, um, a, a major worry. Um, I think if you are considering travelling to some of the countries with high levels of endemicity, particularly malaria, yes, you have to, be, you have to take precautions.